Right now, in a quiet laboratory, a weapon is being built that will change war forever. This is not a story. This is real. Welcome to War Tech Zone. For a small country, Israel faces big threats every day. So they don't just build weapons, they invent them. They turn science fiction into battlefield fact. This drive comes from a simple need to survive. And from that need comes the most astonishing military technology on the planet. Today, we are pulling back the curtain. We are going to show you the next generation of Israeli weapons. This is not about having more tanks than the enemy. It is about being smarter, invisible, and faster. It is about winning a fight before the enemy even knows it has begun. Imagine a battlefield, but on this battlefield, the machines think for themselves. This is the first big change. Israel is moving past drones that need a pilot. They are building drones with a brain, an artificial intelligence or AI. This AI can look at a whole combat zone through cameras and sensors. It can see 10 different targets at once. It can decide which one is the most dangerous. It can choose the best weapon to use. And it can do all this in less time than it takes you to blink. No human needs to press a button. Now, imagine not just one smart drone, but 100, a swarm. They fly together like a flock of birds, but they are deadly. They talk to each other constantly. If one drone is shot down, the others instantly adjust. They spread out, they come from new directions. They overwhelm the enemy with numbers and with a mind that no single machine has. What does this mean for Israel? It means a soldier can stay safe in a bunker, but command an entire sky full of these drones. It means a single team can watch over a huge border with drones that never get tired, never get scared, and make perfect calculations every time. And this thinking machine technology does not stay in the air. Israel is putting the same smart systems into ground vehicles. Picture a team of robotic tanks rolling across the desert at night. They share a single mind. One tank sees a threat, and instantly all the tanks know. They can surround an enemy position without a single word being spoken by a human commander. This is the future of the ground war. It is quiet, it is efficient, and it is incredibly powerful. But a smart machine is still a target, so Israel's next step is to make it disappear. We're talking about true invisibility, not camouflage nets, but science magic. Israel is working with amazing new materials. These materials, called metamaterials, can actually bend light and radar waves. Think of water flowing around a rock in a stream. Now imagine radar waves flowing around a tank like that water. The waves go around it and meet again on the other side. To the radar screen, there is no rock, there is no tank, just empty space. So an Israeli tank column could be moving. Enemy radar operators would see nothing, just a quiet, empty desert. Desert. Then, suddenly, from nowhere, tanks appear and open fire. By the time the enemy reacts, the tanks have activated their stealth systems again and vanished. They are fighting ghosts. This invisibility is not just for tanks. It is for drones, for planes, for ships. An Israeli fighter jet that cannot be seen on radar can fly right into enemy territory. It can drop its bombs and fly home, and the enemy's air defense alarms might never even sound. This technology gives a small force the power of a giant. It is the ultimate advantage for a nation that cannot afford to lose a single battle. Now, think about speed. Raw, unbelievable speed. Israel is deep in the race for hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic means faster than five times the sound of sound. That is over a mile every single second. A traditional missile might take 15 minutes to reach a target far away. A hypersonic missile might take three. There is no time to hide. There is no time to evacuate. By the time a satellite sees the missile launch, it's already hitting its target. But these are not just fast, dumb rockets. They are brilliant. As they fly, they can twist and turn. They can dive down and then swoop back up. They make modern missile defenses, which are built to stop missiles flying in predictable paths, completely useless. They are like a bullet that can change direction in midair. For Israel, this is a game changer. A country like Iran is hundreds of miles away. A threat from there feels distant, but with a hypersonic missile, that distance vanishes. 
any hostile action can be met with an instant, precise response from Israel, no matter where it is. It is the best defense, making your enemies know that if they start a fight, they will lose it in the very first minute. Then there is the power of like itself. Israel is a world leader in laser weapons. You've probably heard of their Iron Dome, which shoots down rockets with other rockets. The next step is Iron Beam. Instead of rockets, it uses lasers. Think of a laser pointer, but a million times more powerful. This laser beam is silent and invisible. It focuses a huge amount of energy onto a small spot. A drone flying overhead has its wing melted in a heartbeat. A mortar shell in the sky simply explodes from the sudden heat. Why is this so good? First, it's cheap. Firing a laser for a few seconds costs pennies in electricity. Shooting a missile costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. Second, it has unlimited ammunition. As long as you have a generator or a power supply, you can keep firing. You will never run out of shots. Third, it's precise. It can hit a single rocket in a salvo of 20 without causing any damage on the ground below. Soon, we might see these lasers on everything, on border fences, on armored vehicles, even on navy ships. An Israeli ship could sail through dangerous waters, surrounded by an invisible shield of light, burning any threat out of the sky before it gets close. The next battlefield is not just land, sea, and air. It's also here, in the digital world. Israel knows this better than almost anyone. Their new weapons blend cyber warfare with physical attack. This means an Israeli drone won't just spy or drop a bomb, it might fly near an enemy communication tower. Instead of blowing it up, it might hack into it. In seconds, it could shut down all enemy radios in a 50-mile radius. Suddenly, the enemy commanders can't talk to their troops. Their coordination falls apart. Or imagine a small robot that rolls up to an enemy tank. It doesn't carry explosives, it carries a computer virus. It connects to the tank wirelessly and uploads the virus. The virus makes the tank's screens go black. It locks the turret so it can't turn. It makes the engine stop. The tank crew is now sitting in a dark, useless box of metal. They have been defeated without a single shot being fired. This is how Israel fights in the 21st century. They don't just break the enemy's weapons, they break the enemy's mind. They take away their ability to see, to communicate, to think. A confused enemy is a defeated enemy. And what about the Israeli soldier themselves? They're getting an upgrade too. Israel is working on robotic mules, machines that walk or roll alongside troops. They can carry heavy gear like ammunition and water, so the soldiers are fresher for fighting. They can go into a dark tunnel or a bomb-out building first, with cameras sending back video. The soldier knows exactly what is waiting for them. Then there are exoskeletons. These are like a powered frame that a soldier wears. It gives them super strength. A soldier could run for miles without getting tired, carrying a huge pack. They could lift a heavy weapon easily, or even carry a wounded comrade to safety without straining their back. It makes every soldier stronger, tougher, and more likely to go home alive. To see all of this, to control all of this, you need the ultimate high ground, space. Israel has excellent spy satellites. These eyes in the sky can see incredible detail. They can count tanks, see new buildings being constructed, and watch for missile launchers being moved. This information is the golden thread that ties everything together. A satellite sees a threat. It sends the data to a command center. The command center assigns a hypersonic missile. The missile launches. While it flies, the satellite updates it, telling it the target moved 100 feet to the left. The missile adjusts and scores a direct hit. It's a perfect loop of seeing, deciding, and destroying. All these amazing machines need one thing, power. A drone that flies for two days straight needs a special battery. A laser weapon needs a huge burst of energy. Israel is working on new power systems, better batteries, more efficient generators. This means their forces can operate far from home, for longer, without waiting for fuel trucks. In a war, the side that can keep fighting longer often wins. Israel is making sure that side is theirs. So, let's put it all together. What is Israel really building? They're not building separate weapons. They're building a single connected system, a nervous system for the battlefield. In this system, satellites are the eyes, AI computers are the brain, drones, tanks, and soldiers are the hands, and lasers and hypersonic missiles are the fists. Everything is connected. Everything shares information instantly. 
A drone at the border sees something suspicious. The AI brain analyzes it and confirms it's a threat. It alerts a hypersonic missile battery. The missile fires. At the same time, the brain sends a cyber attack to jam the enemy's phones. Robotic units move in to secure the area. All of this happens in minutes, almost automatically. This is the future. It is a future where wars are short because the first move is also the last move. It is a future where the side with the best technology wins, not necessarily the side with the most soldiers. For Israel, a country that lives with constant danger, this technology is not a luxury. It is the key to their survival and their success. The world is watching. Other nations are trying to build similar systems, and new global race has started. But remember, Israel has a head start. They have the need, they have the brilliant minds, and they have the courage to turn science fiction into reality, right before our eyes. This is a pivotal moment in history. The nature of power is changing. To understand the world of tomorrow, you must understand these technologies today. That is our mission here at Vortex Zone. If you want to stay ahead, to truly understand these game changers, you need to be part of this community. Hit the subscribe button below. It's free and it helps this channel more than you can imagine. Then tap the like button on this video. This tells YouTube that you found this important and helps us reach other curious people. And don't forget the bell icon. Click it and choose all notifications. That way, the next time we release a deep dive into drones, lasers, or secret military tech, you will be the first to know. You will never miss an update. Thank you for watching. This is War Tech Zone. We will see you in the next video.